Next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the Illusionarium. You may remember that during my first playthrough of this adventure, I was getting quite annoyed at the continuous run through the hall and having to fight the Illusionary Guards. I've since found out that this is totally unnecessary, providing you can get a moderately good jump skill, and I'm about to show you how to avoid all that. So, what you do is you go this way into the theatre, The Chapter House Theatre normally hosts stage plays for Fialin's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. And you go up here and you should be able to make this jump without too high a jump skill. My character has a jump skill of... Um, where is it? Only 11, which I don't think is enough, but we'll give it a quick go. Um, so you stand on here, and that's not quite enough, let's try again. Okay, looks like that's, looks like 11 isn't quite enough. Yeah, 11 isn't quite enough, so I've got some jumping potions. Let's take one. And uh, it's going to take me a couple of goes, so I'm not entirely sure where you jump from, so bear with me here. Do take a few jumping potions if you're having to use a potion rather than a spell because it is a little bit fiddly, but it is doable, trust me on this. There we go. And now, once you're up in the gallery, you can run round up here. Past another set of shrines, which can be useful on hard mode. The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the Illusionarium. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. Over this hall, where all the guards spawn, as you notice right now, absolutely nothing is happening. Down here. And into the party. Once we're here... It's a very simple matter. You finally reached the House Fjarlin Grand Gala. Now, to go here, to find the guest list we and add Cyan's name. Not only do we add Cyan's name to the list, we add ours first, and then we add Cyan's name to the list. Cyan then walks in. And once she's done talking to the guards, we'll be able to go back to the start of the Illusionarium through this little side door here. Which means that when you go to do the side quests, you can skip the main hallway all the time and not have to fight your way through hordes of illusions.